responding to uh, a, a given course of medications or uh, medical intervention if post-microbial interactions are um, leading to a pathology, molecularly understanding how that is happening by doing next generation sequencing to understand the bacteria that are present, by gene expression profiling, how the host is responding to those, and then connecting what bacterial changes are leading to those host differences, we can start unraveling things that pathways and mechanisms that otherwise we didn't necessarily know. Some things we know, we were hypothesized and demonstrated in, in hypothesis-based studies, but this allows us to take an unbiased approach to understanding that ecosystem, if you want. It, it is really ecosystem biology at the molecular level between the human and the, the microbes that are in or on us. So by starting with a medical problem, analyzing it molecularly, we can understand what's that problem and devise a strategy by which to come with a medical intervention. So that's the data that we sell in partnerships or that we utilize to actually say, is there a new drug that can be used or repurposing something that already exists out there or something along those lines. So that's what we uh, generate. Okay, so uh, Colleen, you talked about, I think you were mentioning anonymizing your patient samples and things like that. So how do you go from where you are, where you have generalized, anonymized data to something that can be a patient-specific diagnostic or a patient-specific therapeutic. 